Hey guys, Chris Fix here with the fourth annual top five Christmas gift ideas for car guys and car girls like you. Check this out. And man, oh man, do I have some really cool gift ideas this year. Look at all these gifts, such amazing ideas. But real quick, before we go over that, real fast, you see all this right here? This is awesome. This is what it's all about this time of the year. These are bikes, these are scooters, all for kids who are underprivileged, who don't have the opportunity to get gifts. Look at this, loaded up the back of the Hummer with toys toys for toys for tots. And I want you guys to think about doing this this year. It was super fun to do, to just grab a bunch of toys and load up a shopping cart. You don't have to go crazy, just a couple of gifts, but as usual, I went crazy and got a ton, a ton of gifts because that's what it's all about, giving back. And I'm glad we found somebody super nice at the checkout because we bought over 200 different toys. So over 200 different kids are gonna have at least one toy this holiday season. How amazing is that? And I'm not kidding, we went all out this year. Tons of gifts for a bunch of kids. And the whole point of me showing you this is to let you guys know you should think about giving back to the community this year. People who are in need, it's a good feeling and it helps people just, it's, it's a good thing to do. It helps people feel loved this holiday season. And with that said, there are a lot of really cool gift ideas here that we're about to open up. These aren't lame gifts. These are actually really neat. And so if you need something for your friend, for your family, or maybe even for yourself, well, you've come to the right video. Let's get started. All right, let's see what we got here. By the way, all the gift ideas I show you in this video will be clearly linked in the description so you can easily find each one and check it out. We got some car detailing stuff, but this just isn't any detailing stuff. This stuff is brand new. I actually, right now, as I'm filming this, am the only person to have this in my hands. It's not even out yet, but by the time you guys see this video, it will be out. It's the Liquid Hybrid Ceramic Wax by Meguiar's. They have their detailing spray and they have a liquid wax. And you guys know how much I love their ultimate detailer and liquid wax. I mean, check this out. You remember the drift sting was a mess when I got it. But here is after the super clean. What a difference. So this stuff is great. Now their new product line, I can't wait to test out because this uses brand new ceramic technology. Let's check it out. All right, so my drift staying is completely clean. I split it down into two sides. One side is gonna be untreated and then this side we're gonna apply the hybrid ceramic wax. Let me show you how it goes on. You only need a little bit on your applicator pad. Then you can massage it into the paintwork of your car just like any other wax or sealant. Make sure you get complete coverage. And once you cover the entire body panel, go over it one more time just to make sure the coverage is even. Now we need to let this sit and cure onto the paint for five minutes. And five minutes later, let's buff it off with a microfiber towel. And while I've only used this product for about a month now, my favorite thing is how easy the wax goes on and how easy it comes off. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's see how well this stuff works to repel water. So let's soak both sides evenly. And would you look at that? Now that is impressive. There's a huge difference. The water is just rolling off no problem, and that's one of the benefits of using a ceramic-based technology like this. There's also a hybrid ceramic spray detailer which is good to clean off light dirt or maybe to help you dry your car, and it adds another coat of protection between washes. And they also have a hybrid ceramic clay kit just in case you like claying your car. And although this stuff is brand new, I still messed around with this for over a month. I used almost a whole container of this. I used a bunch of the wax. I really like this stuff, which is why I'm sharing it with you. And that's why it makes my top five Christmas gift ideas this year. Brand new on the market. It'd be a really cool gift to get or give. Now, speaking of that, we're not done with the first gift because we have something called stocking stuffers. These are like little additional gifts that you could get, you throw in a stocking that uh, kind of go along with the Christmas gift idea. And since this is Cooper's stocking, we're gonna have him open up the first one. All right, here you go, bud. Open these up and let's see what we got. Good boy, Cooper. Cooper, keep it over here, Coop. Hey, no, Cooper, come. <laughs> Good boy. And we got a microfiber wash mitt. What else? All right, a drying towel. And it looks like some glass towels. And finally, something way too big for a stocking stuffer. Hey, a pressure washer. All right, all right, I get it. You might be thinking to yourself, Chris, really, microfiber towels, who's gonna want that for Christmas? But hear me out, this is actually something really cool because not all microfiber towels are made the same. This is a simple dollar store microfiber towel and really, it's junk. And I didn't realize this until a couple years ago when I learned all about microfiber towels. So you have your wash mitt. This is a microfiber wash mitt. And it has these really long fingers and the idea is any dirt and debris that you, you clean off your car is gonna get trapped deep inside the fingers. It won't be at the surface so you won't be rubbing it into the paint so you won't scratch your paint as easily. 
this is what you want to use to clean your car. Now when you polish your car, you want to use a microfiber polish pad like this. This is going to help you polish wax, compounds, anything like that where you have to rub it in. This is what you want to use to get good results. If you use a microfiber towel like one of these, it's not going to push that polish or wax into the paint enough and you won't get as good results. So that's why you want to use these. Now when you're cleaning your glass, you want to find a towel that doesn't leave lint. So you want to use a glass towel and then drying, you want to make sure you have a towel that is super absorbent. Check this out. There are two important features of a drying microfiber towel. One is that the microfiber towel has to be huge. The bigger it is, the more surface area it has, the more water it could absorb. That way you're not drying the car and wringing it out every five seconds. The second most important thing is that it absorbs a lot of water. And I have a little example I'm going to show you right here. So this is filled with water. And watch this. Check that out. Completely dry and Another good thing, not dripping any water at all. All the water is trapped in the microfiber towel and there's still some more dry towel here. Check that out, this is all dry up here. So it's a legit good microfiber towel, although it seems like a funny gift, it makes your job that much easier and they will love it for drying their car. Now the last thing I wanted to show you was this right here. Although it's a very extremely large stocking stuffer, I wanted to show you because it is a great power washer. The bang for the buck is amazing with this thing. I've had it for four years now. It works with foam cans. It cleans the dirt off your car and it makes detailing your car that much more fun So if you or somebody else enjoys cleaning their car We have the power washer and we have a bunch of different good high quality microfiber towels that are great for stuffing a stocking All right, so on to the second gift idea. I wonder what it could be Oh Man, what an awesome idea a rounded nut and bolt extractor set and this is the ultimate gift for tools because we've all been there. There's a nut or bolt that's rusted or stripped and you can't get it out and you're spending all this wasted time on trying to remove this. Well, a kit like this saves you all that time. How these sockets work is they have these angled sharp ridges inside them and it'll grab onto a rusted nut, bolt, or even stud and you'll be able to remove that fastener. And this set is nice because it's complete. It has all the different sizes. We have all the way up to 19 millimeter or three quarters of an inch, which is a large nut or bolt. And we go all the way down to one quarter of an inch, less than eight millimeters, which is pretty small. But I want to show you this in action. This has actually saved me big time when working on my truck. Now I had to replace the leaf springs and spring perches because they rusted out pretty badly and snapped. I mean, look at how rusted that spring perch is. So all the fasteners were really rusty and most of them were just getting rounded with a normal socket. I tried a couple of different things, starting with some pliers and vice grips and no luck with those. So I grabbed an extractor socket that fit tightly on the rounded nut and I hammered it on so it'll really bite down. Then I used my ratchet and boom, look at that. The socket locked down onto the nut and I was able to remove it, followed by that rusty spring perch. What a mess that was. So there you go, a set like this is gonna save the day and it's gonna make somebody super happy when they finally get that rusted fastener out and they're gonna be thanking you. That's why this gift is such a good idea. Also, it's inexpensive for what it is, it's a pretty good price and that is why it makes number two on my list. All right, let's check out these stocking stuffers. What do we have now? Okay, so three different things. First, we have, all right, a Vampires. Next, we have a Universal Socket. And finally, just what I've always wanted, a set of nut breakers. All right, now these are some cool tools that also have to do with removing rusted fasteners, broken fasteners, or just fasteners you don't know the right size for. And I'm gonna show you this tool first. It's a little gimmicky, but at the same time, it does come in handy, let's check it out. So where this socket is useful is when you're going into your drawer and you wanna find the correct socket for whatever bolt you're unscrewing, but you don't know the bolt size, and you're like, ah, which one, you try to grab a bunch of them. Well, instead of grabbing a bunch of them, this one works all the way from seven millimeter all the way up to 19 millimeter in just this one socket, which is pretty cool. Now how this works is there's a lot of little spring-loaded pins that conform to the shape of the fastener. So you could have different shaped fasteners as well. And we'll use this black bolt as an example and you can see how it conforms around the bolt head so that we're able to turn the bolt. And now we have a smaller silver screw and you can see, same thing. Even though it's smaller, it still conforms around that screw head so that you could unscrew it. And I feel like this is the perfect example. Let's unscrew two different fasteners. We have a capped nut right here that's a smaller size, and then we have a bolt that goes into the exhaust manifold right there. We're gonna use this one tool to unscrew both of those. Just center the socket on the nut, and now you could unscrew it like any other socket you would use. Easy as that. And then you could also tighten the fastener down so it works both to loosen and tighten. Now let's try this on the exhaust heat shield bolt. And even though that bolt was on there pretty good, this was able to break it free and remove it. 
So pretty cool. It is a little gimmicky, but I like it. I like to use it for when I don't know what size bolt I need to remove, and I could just easily grab this. This is a perfect tool for that, and it's a great stocking stuffer. Now what happens if your fasteners are stuck in there and they don't want to come out? Well, when things get really bad, you could use something like this, which is a nut breaker. Let me show you how it works. So let's say you're working on your car, and for whatever reason, the nut is seized on there. Maybe it's rusted, maybe it's rounded, whatever it is, let's just say this nut is stuck. That's when a tool like this nut breaker comes in handy. It has a very sharp point, and what you do, you place it over the nut that you need to break, you hand tighten it down, and then you crank it down with a ratchet until it pierces the nut and splits it. Then you could use it on the other side of the nut and do the same thing. And once you pierce it, unscrew it, and the previously seized nut will come right off the threads. Perfect for a last ditch effort to remove the seized nut that you wouldn't otherwise get off. And it's designed not to damage the threads either, which is very helpful so you could reuse the bolt or the stud that it's on. So that is why this is a stocking stuffer. Now we have one more stocking stuffer, and this is called the Vamp Pliers. This is actually a really nice pliers, but it's not a normal pliers. You can see at the end of the pliers, it has all these ridges and indents designed to grab onto rounded fasteners. So I'm gonna put this to the test for you by screwing in four different screws and stripping them to make it really difficult to remove. And the idea here is each screw has its own difficulties for removal. This one's sticking out, but it's completely stripped. This one's almost flush and stripped. This one's really in there, barely has enough room to get the head out. And this one's sticking out, but it has thick threads that are really deep in there. So each one is difficult to remove in its own way. So let's try the first one. You just grab onto the strip screw head and you twist it to unscrew it. This next one barely has a head to grip, but the tip of the pliers has teeth in it. So it'll grab onto that screw head like that. Now this deep screw has a hex head and that makes this really simple to remove. And finally, even screws that are tight in there can be removed using the vamp pliers. So there you go, here's some tools to get you out of some sticky situations. They all have their own purpose and they'll all help you out and that's why they make the top five Christmas gift ideas for the stocking stuffers this year. All right, gift number three, let's see what we got. And I'm very excited about this one because it's a cool gadget and I love gadgets. So this is a smart mirror, and the reason why this is a smart mirror is because it has a camera on the front. This acts as a dash camera, so it's always recording, or if you're parked and you get hit, this has a sensor in it that'll start recording, and it's adjustable. It moves because your rear view mirror is going to move when you adjust it. And this also comes with a rear view camera, and this rear view camera is what makes this so smart. You could have your rear view camera come up on here. This is a giant screen. That way you could see out the back. Maybe if you're trailering something, this would work really well, or if you have a lot of cargo in the back, or your visibility is just bad because of the design of the car. And when you go in reverse, this rear view camera tilts down automatically so it could see the street. That way you could park between the lines easier. But since I haven't installed this yet, I want you to check out one installed, and not just installed in any car, installed in the Fast and Furious Lamborghini. This is my buddy Tavarish. He's gonna take it from here. Thanks, Chris. So as you mentioned, this is no ordinary rear view mirror. It has rear and front facing cameras. The internal DVR is always recording to an SD card. And when you turn it off, it just turns into a regular mirror with a lane keeping assist display, time and date, and your current speed. You can also get one that tucks into your factory wiring harness location so you can make it look 100% stock. Back to you, Chris. And it's just a cool gadget. And that's why this made my top five Christmas gift ideas this year. Okay, now for the stocking stuffers. Looks like we have a safety hammer set, and this is a little bit too big for the stocking, and we have a portable shovel. All right. And these stocking stuffers are all about safety. Let's start out with this safety hammer. Now picture this, you're riding along your car, you get into an accident, and you can't get your seatbelt off. Maybe your car's on fire, maybe you're in the water and you're sinking, maybe you're in a Santa suit with a helmet on. No matter what the situation is, you need to get out of here and you can't, you're stuck. What do you do? Go into your center console, grab your safety tool, and now we can cut the seatbelt. I've actually never used this before to cut a seatbelt, so we'll see how difficult it actually is using one of these to cut a seatbelt. Now the nice thing about this is there's a cutter in here, but you can't cut yourself because it's protected. So it's designed to just fit inside here to grab your seatbelt and cut it open. Let's see how well it works. Wow, that was actually really good. That was super easy to use. Look at that, that's awesome. I thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult. I didn't have to use much force at all and it cut the seatbelt perfectly. There you go, that is really cool. All right, so we cut our seatbelt, we escaped, but what happens if our door won't open? Whatever the reason is, it's smashed in, it just, it won't open, the glass won't roll down because your battery's not working. Now what do you do? You can't punch this out. These side windows are really tough, let me show you. Side windows are made of tempered glass, just like this sheet of glass in my hand. You could hit this as hard as you want with a hammer, and it's really difficult to break. 
But with our safety hammer, all you have to do is lightly tap it and the glass shatters no problem so you could escape. All right, so these safety hammers are pretty good. This is the perfect stocking stuffer. They're super inexpensive and you get two of them. Definitely good to have in your center console. And as you just saw, it works really well. So that's the first stocking stuffer. And the next stocking stuffer is more off-road oriented or somebody who's into hiking or trails. It's a collapsible shovel. Check this out. Now it's locked in place. The shovel has a serrated edge right here so that you could cut trees or brush or whatever. If you want, you could hack at stuff. Maybe you're trying to hit a tree, cut it down, get some firewood or you just need to use it as a shovel it fits in this little pouch and I keep one of these in my Hummer and in my pickup truck so this is really good for anybody who likes to go off-roading or go to the beach with their truck or SUV very useful check this out let's say your tires spinning on the trail because it's loose dirt or whatever and you need to dig the tire out this is perfect for that there really isn't anything to it. It works like a normal shovel, except it's portable and collapsible. So this is great to help you get out of sticky situations like this. Okay, and we are almost done. The fourth Christmas gift idea. Now I really like this gift idea. It is a portable air compressor. It's battery operated. There's no wires needed at all. This is it. If you wanna pump up your tires, you could use this. If you wanna pump up your bike tires, your car tires, an inflatable tube at the beach, whatever it is, you don't need power. It's all right here. And that's why I like this so much. Let's go check it out. So here's the perfect test for our portable air compressor. This is perfect because we have a complete flat. I let all the air out. There's no air left in that tire and we're gonna blow this tire all the way up. So first thing is first, the thing I like about this a lot is you hit this button in the middle, the light turns on and it'll tell you your pressure. Right now we have zero PSI because we're not plugged into anything. But even more importantly, you could set the pressure you want it to pump up to. So we're gonna set this tire to 33 PSI. Let's go attach this. And this simply just pushes onto the valve stem and then you can lock it in by turning it down like so. Then just press and hold the power button for a second and then the compressor will power on and now the tire is inflating. And now this is great to use in places where you don't have power or you just wanna quickly top off the air in your tires. And we are pumped all the way up and it took eight minutes and 34 seconds. Now that is pretty good. And that's for a pretty big tire completely flat. Normally you're just gonna to top stuff off and just so you can see, the battery is one out of four bars down. Now that worked incredibly well. In the package, it has a 12 volt adapter to charge and an AC outlet to charge, as well as some adapters so you could fill up your soccer balls, footballs, all stuff like that. It does come with this carrying case. I wish it had a hard case because it doesn't fit all this in there. But nonetheless, this is a really cool Christmas gift idea and that's why it makes my list this year. Okay, so only two stocking stuffers left. What do we have here? All right, a blue driver. Now this is probably the ultimate stocking stuffer. It's small in size, so it fits in the stocking nicely, but it packs a punch. This is called the Blue Driver. I'm sure you guys have seen me use this before. I've been using this for about six years now, and it is an OBD2 scanner, but not just a regular OBD2 scanner. They make a lot of cheap OBD2 scanners out there. This is a high quality Bluetooth OBD2 scanner. And let me cover the features real fast so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So this scanner plugs into your OBD2 port in your car or truck. Anything 1996 and newer should have an OBD2 port. And usually it's found on the driver's side underneath the steering wheel right here. Let's go plug this in right there. And with the blue driver plugged in, now we could grab our key and you have two options. One, you could put it in the run position like that, or you could start the car like that. Either one, you could get the codes. But the reason why I started the car is because I want to show you the live data. So this is the app that comes with the Blue Driver. It works very well, very easy to use. You can see you could check your codes, you could delete your codes, you could run a smog report, see if your car will pass emissions. You go here, you hit scan, and of course not, my truck's not going to pass emissions because the check engine light just came on as I was filming this. Before we go scan that, I want to show you the live data. The live data is actually really helpful. You could do stuff like put RPMs and speed up here. I have both short-term fuel trims up here to check for vacuum leaks, and I have my coolant temperature, but there's a bunch of different things that you can put up here. You could change them all right here. Those are the ones that are up there now. Here's all the ones that are supported, and that live data is cool, but the best feature is definitely, you go here, scan the computer, right here. Check this out. You're able to not only check check engine lights, which is great, but almost every scanner could do that, but you're able to check stuff like your ABS, airbag, tire pressure monitoring system, transmission codes, all that stuff that normally a much more expensive scanner could do. 
So that's why I use this. It works great. But all we need to do is check a check engine light. Now the advanced codes work on many makes and models. Here's a whole list of them. I'm not going to go through each one. You can pause the screen if you want. But that's what those advanced codes work on. Otherwise a blue driver will just scan your computer like this just for check engine lights. And you can see we have a cylinder for misfire. And if you want, you could clear the codes so your check engine light shuts off. So it may be small, but man, does this do a lot. And it is a great stocking stuffer between reading codes, clearing codes, checking advanced codes, doing live data, checking to see if you'll pass emissions. There's a reason I've been using this for the past six years, and that's why it makes my stocking stuffer for this year. And finally, last but not least, now if you're wondering, yes, my neighbors are watching me open up gifts I wrapped dressed as Santa with the helmet on. And yes, I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. They do bring their kids over to say hello and get pictures with me. So with that said, check this out. Now this is a really cool gift idea, a rechargeable LED under hood light. Now this is an under hood light because it's specifically made to attach under the hood. So pop the hood and put the light holder on one side of the hood and stretch it across to the other side of the hood to get held in place. And it's that simple to set up. Now the best thing is it's spring loaded so you could fit it on different size hoods. Whether your hood's really wide or even more narrow than this, it'll fit and it's easy to get on as you saw. Plus, this is rubberized, so you don't have to worry about damaging the paintwork on your hood. It sets up that simple. But that's enough about setting it up. Let me show you how well this work light works at night. So we have to shut the lights off. All right, it's nighttime. Let's try this out. And I think that speaks for itself. Look at how bright it is now. And this light will work about three hours on high and six hours on low. So the battery life is pretty good. And just so you have an idea of what it looks like, look at that. That looks so good. It brightens up everything under the hood and it very safely connects underneath the hood, which is nice. You won't scratch your paint or anything like that. And you get a really good view of everything. Look at this. Let's check out one more. And let there be light. Boom, so now we have the Drift Stings engine bay. Look at that, it's just, it's so nice to have tons of light under the hood. All right, and since we're on lights and we have our stocking right here, let's grab the last gift and let's see what we got. All right, an LED headband. Now I like this one a lot because it's a wide LED headband that's flexible. It's actually comfortable to wear. When I'm filming my videos, a lot of times, I'll either set this up on the camera or set this up on my head. On the back of the headband, there is a little on-off switch. It takes AAA batteries and that'll turn it on. And then you have a switch right here. You could make it lower power, off, high power, lower power, off. So you get the idea. Let me shut this light and this is what the headlamp looks like. So it's pretty bright. It does a pretty good job. Well, you know what? Let me give you an idea of how good of a job it does. Let's put this on you. So we have the headband on, and this is what it looks like in the engine bay. Not bad. It's not overly bright where you're night blind, but it's still not dim either. So you could get the job done, and I like this headlamp a lot, and I use it a lot. Only downside is it's not a rechargeable battery. And I don't know the exact battery life, but this thing lasts all night no problem. And I'm talking the kind of all night where you drop a bolt in the engine bay and it doesn't hit the floor. That kind of all night. So there you go. We got our headlamp LED like this, which works great. And then we have our LED lamp up here, which works even better to really light up everything. Both have a purpose and both are great gifts for this holiday season. And there we go. Those are the Chris Fix top five Christmas gift ideas for this year. Hopefully they helped you guys out. I'll be sure to link every single gift individually in the description so you can easily find them. This is stuff that I like, that I've tried out, that have helped me out throughout the year, that have gotten me out of sticky situations. Things that I think you guys will like a lot. And they're just really cool gift ideas and that you guys or your friends are going to like. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, got some good ideas. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you guys have a Merry Christmas. Make sure you have a Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate. Just enjoy it with friends and family. That's what it's all about. And have a happy and healthy New Year.